Hello my dudes and welcome back to part 2 of Horizon, or part 3 or part 4 or however I edit it, but yeah, welcome back, welcome back guys. Okay. Let's make our way over to Sanctuary, and we'll go and set up Marcy as our uh, career. Between here and and uh, and sanctuary, and then we'll double back and build some defenses here, so it will uh, we won't have to come back too often to actually defend it. It'll be so much easier to do. Are you sure there isn't someone more suited to all this? What? I find that mildly insul insulting, Codsworth. What are you talking about yourself? That about takes care of that. There we go. Okay, we put very low on health. Uh, so Otherwise, get that one sorted out. Okay, and we are incredibly close to death. We are going through. Actually, from memory, you don't actually have to scoop up each one of the crafting stations besides the power armor. So I'm pretty sure from the last take that we had at the startup that. Um, Pretty much the large majority of the crafts for all in one workbench. Okay, so... Cannot be... Cannot go to a supply line. You can't go to supply line. You can't do supply line. You can't do supply line. Okay, so I'll need a regular settler to get that going on. Okay, so no supply line for there. That's a shame. Alright, so... This episode, we are going to be doing the initial setup. I want to try and make something basic for us and not spend too much time tinkering and building and all that jazz. Junk in there, but also going to chuck in weapons that I currently don't need right now. stuff in there. Oh, I see that we have a singular gourd. That's nice. Fishing rod. Okay. And yeah, cool. We're under eight, so it's fine. Okay, so First things first. Okay. Uh, 
uh, furniture, beds. Let's make a personal bed for ourselves. Let's have a look at our effects. Yes, we are rested. Okay, so that means that we should have something. Should use that. So that's limb damage over time. Mm, is I hard hiding our little menus? It's usually there would be like a little activation thing that would come up down the bottom. Okay, so the meds did jack shit. Combat stim pack, we might as well just use that now. Okay. So first things first. Let's start our little shack. That that that. We got the bushes. Get rid of that vehicle as well. Okay, uh, one of the things that we want to make off the get-go is one of these bad boys, cleanup station. Okay, so with a cleanup station in Horizon, um, it's going to ask us to increase the build limits as it's recommended. And yeah, I'm going to set it so it always increases and it doesn't ask me again. Okay, warning. Items left on corpses will be lost. Restoring layers requires the materials back. Always stay in the settlement until it finishes. Always save your game before using. Okay, so we can pretty much make this so that it will do a scrap function for us. Because, like, to begin with, if I was doing a Horizon playthrough, I'd just get into Sanctuary and then just do the console command of scrap hole. Just so I don't have to go around and pick up everything. But there's stuff behind like locks and uh, hacks and stuff like that so it feels a little bit cheesy so if you want to sort of not cheese the game then you just use this which is part of the architect like the scrap the scrap bench but yeah it'll scrap debris leaves and junk for us so as we like look around we should see all of the random bits of junk and be and bushes and shit just getting scrapped and scooped up to give us a decent amount of compost and all that jazz it usually ends up taking a little while and one of the things that I could do that would be uh, interesting is we can do console tfc enter undo the console And we can just watch the area around us get slowly scooped up. Just see random bushes and tires and other random stuff start disappearing. Still scrapping. Yeah, all the tires are gone. Yeah, 985 items. So that's why I like using that. So it just does it for us. Some of the bushes it doesn't do, but it does a large majority of them. 
And you can still manually go around and uh, get rid of stuff. Okay, so... One of the things that we'll have to look at... Oh, we've got... We should have something... To drink... Minus 20 hydration. Caffeinates. Drink one of them. And then food. Sanitize water. Screw bits. Okay, lots of rads. You're not going to be worth actually eating. Ah, uh, yes. And uh, I'll show you uh, something else that... Uh, is a useful tip, but uh, beware using this one because it's ruined a couple of playthroughs of mine and I haven't been able to fix it and I just avoided the settlement that I did it at. But you can console command and then click on that and it'll give you like the item name in re the reference file for it. And you can just hit this, disable, now it's gone. You just hit the console command again. And now that little foundation is gone forever. Which makes it so much easier to build from scratch. We could even do it with the stairs and stuff. But I kind of like to leave that there. So what we'll do is we'll start on something basic. So. Steel and concrete. Okay, so I've also got place anywhere on, which allows me to actually clip things into a workshop grid. So, we'll get a little bit finicky trying to place things right, but what we can do is we can just... Um, how do we do this again? Just trying to remember. Because I want to make it like semi flush with the stairs. They do seem like a natural addition to it. Just want to go something basic for now. Let's go a three by three. Then do we have any glass? I'll chuck that there. I'll chuck that there. So like glass gone. So our stairs are in the center. So we want that to be in the center as well. We'll chuck that on the side. And we'll chuck that just there. Okay, so. there and then we'll just chuck some basic walls down on the end here might eventually make it so it's a walk through so we can get to our garden out the back yeah we'll actually do that now so eventually yeah i want to have a little garden and a fenced off area out the back here branching off but that's for a Another time. Get that. That. And then we're going to figure out what we're gonna, how we're going to do the stairs in here. If we want a straight rail or if we want a spiral. I'm always a fan of the spiral personally. But. We'll go with something basic for now. So that one leads up to there. So floors. Let's grab another floor. Let's rotate that that way, get that there. Okay, and then wall. 
goals wise. There's some big, big boy corner ones. I'm not going to make this too tall just yet. I'm just going to go with something basic for now. We want to have it taller on one side. I'm going to give this thing some character. that spot right or is that one of these yeah it's one of these that goes there and then I think half wall at the top here oh okay that actually made me jump in real life and I think we just want basic bed Little rest area for ourselves up here. God, we need safety railings. So like whenever I uh, play a building game or anything that involves building, it's more likely that the environment will kill me than anything in it. I will just walk off the edge, no problem. Do it without even batting an eye by complete accident. Okay, so that's some glass. Okay, I want this set up. So I want that corner. Get you there, get you there. Mm, you don't make sense, so I have to change the roof. You're not structurally sound. Uh, yeah, sure, that. Okay, a little raised area for our rest space. Put a wall down here as well. One that faces the other way, this way. Are you going to clip in there? Do you want to clip in there? No, you do not. Okay, I'll just leave that as open then. Okay, so miscellaneous. Is there any railings? Nope, just support beams. Clip you in a bit further, right in the center. Yeah, sure. Let's check that there. Okay, is there any railings? Doors? Rolling metal door. Mm, it's kind of cool. But not what I need right now. Okay, glass. Alright. 
Uh, barn doesn't have railings. Concrete. Miscellaneous. There we go. Okay, they do not want to clip. You'll clip though. Plenty of steel. Just chuck these safety railings up there so we don't fall off. Okay, and then we get the wall. Because we want to make ourselves a little bit of a veranda. Get one of them, so it clips onto there. Do we want the roof to come down all the way? Nah. Get rid of that one. And we'll go to miscellaneous and we'll get some steel beams. Need to get rid of those ones to get them to clip on. And get that one. And that one. Now, is there any railings that I can clip through that stuff? No. Okay, you're taking up that slot. Is it necessary? No. Do I like it? Yeah. It's not right, Veranda. It's a little one. Somewhere for us to park our power armor. Okay, so not floors. We want walls. Get some little corny pieces in here. Chuck that in there. Get that bad boy going as well. Yeah, I don't mind the look of that. Looks pretty cool. Okay, um, doors wise, wood. Uh, you don't have doors, specifically doors. Okay, so all hinges must be on the inside of doors. Otherwise, it is way too easy to break in. Where are the hinges? Okay. That. Give ourselves. Another door. Okay, cool. Furniture. You can get stored, you can get stored, you can get stored. Okay, give ourselves a personal bed. It's not comfortable bed. Yes, thank you mod for working. One of the things that I love is uh, is place anywhere. It allows you to rotate things on an axis so it stays within the grid. It's, it's so nice, so satisfying. One of my favorite mods that I came across. There's like a few people like uh, Juicehead and Wanderer that uh, really, really showed that off very well. Made it so I was like super keen to actually go and build those. And that's one thing that annoyed the crap out of me with vanilla Fallout. Is the fact that I could rotate it on a full degree axis. I much prefer it to be on like four or five degrees. Like four or five axis points. So that I don't have shit that's just like sort of clipping out of the wall. Or like slightly off center. I like to have stuff flush. Okay, so wall decorations, flags. We've got to sleep underneath an American flag. And is there a wall or a roof that I can use that actually is closed off? 
So now that's gonna bug me. Yeah, one side closed, the other side open. Yeah, I think this one will be better. There we go. Bed, uh, Vault Tech thingo, for all our bobbleheads. Now it's time for utilities. So, Universal Crafting Station. Okay. So, this Universal Crafting Station pretty much contains everything that we'll need. In regards to our upgrades and all that jazz. Recruitment beacon. Check that out the front of the house. Thankfully, that does not need electricity anymore. The resource station need to get a tech level up. One of these down at the front as well, because I love the aesthetic. Have a little mailbox. Okay, I don't think that we have to worry about the large majority of the other items at the moment. Caravan travel hub. Let me check this down in front. Now. Let's go into crafting and get our power armor workstation. Yep. Check that down right there. And then we have a little parking spot for our power armor. I swear this is one of the, my favorite parts of the game is having a little setup and designing a little house. on that side. Yeah, let's chuck you there. Yeah, it's a little bit more of an even spread. Okay, the mixer station is something that we want to chuck in here as well. So now we can get some decent Nuka-Cola crafts. Get the victory one. Armor um, weapons lab. Cooking stove. Tech lab. Okay. So defense wise. Guard post. No, not those ones. We want to go architect. Guard outpost. Okay, so we can go for the big one. Of the get go for sanctuary. Get rid of that tree for line of sight. Oop, that's clipping through the wall. And damn it. Do you hate that when you forget the forget the keys for games because you've been playing too many? up to 22. Yeah, that's fine. Why are you not... Why are you not happy? Yeah, let's put that there. Okay, 
who's the god? Who's our first god? Actually, we want this to be a bit further down. Give us a bit more space. Okay, so... Now we put out the back, sort it out. Let's just have a look at wood. Is there specific? Yes, there is specific fences. Wire fence. Mm, don't think we really have to worry about that at the moment. But let's have a look at Foundations, decorations, lots of power research, farming community. Automated crops we can't get at all. Farm animals and fishing. Can't get anything from that. Oh yes, workbench and wild gardens. That's one thing that I almost forgot to place down. I actually like having this out outside because I just imagine the compost to be really really over the top <laughs> so yeah so the farming workbench allows us to process um, some meat and stuff into uh, compost so we can make um, some planters quite easily we just need some wood for these ones and we can place couple of planters off the back here. But you know we want to clip to foundation? Ah, that's just because there's a wall in the way. Uh, chuck. Put that one there. Put that one there. There we go. Then we just got to put that wall back on. It's warehouse. Walls. Yeah. Okay. So these will be our nice little planters out the back for when we get enough taters and stuff going on. So farming community. Planters. One there. It's automated. Mm, okay. It's really, really small planters as well. Could potentially put them inside. But nah. Uh, is there anything else that we need? We got the farming community. We got our defenses sorted out. We need some water and we need some food. So food, farming, communities, and that does not involve water. Okay, so we've got some water collectors. This one does not need electricity at all, so we'll go with that one for sure. Give ourselves 10 water. Purification, new workshop technology one, farming and services. Now we can make power armor frames. We've got some automated defenses that we can set up as well. We might set up one of them. On the front of our base. Clip, clip. Okay, make 
sure it's touching the wall. Okay, and we got one turn directly above our door. People know that we mean business. Guard animals, haven't got any of them. Militia missions. Okay. Vendor stalls, production industrial technician. Ah, yeah, that's right. We want to set up some people to do some different scrounging jobs. Job technician junkyard. That's a steel yard. I think we want junkyard going on. Well, unfortunately, architect is not swinging into the rotation that I like. So I'm just going to have to be careful with some of this stuff. Just use some of our oil for that. Craftsman. We don't have any more oils for that. Research outpost. Okay, so I think I might want to set this one up as farming and industrial. So that we get stuff coming out of it. And then we'll get maybe Red Rocket as our trading hub. So I'm thinking of setting up our network. So Abernathy Farm would be farming mainly. Red Rocket can be trading, and then Sanctuary can be um, happiness, recruitment, and then we can send people out to different places as we need them. Yeah, that sounds good. <clears throat> okay, so we're done with the building, which is nice. We did that pretty quick. Mm -hmm. It's a really, really nice little, uh, little shack. It's a cool little design. I don't mind it. But yeah. We'll be back in a sec. <laughs> <laughs> 